What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another another video. If you wanna learn trading, why don't you come and learn from Siri? What's up, everybody? Today is Tuesday, November seventh. You know what Tuesdays are? That means no trading for me. Today is a day where I stay away because that's the name of the game. Um, but yeah. So, today was 10 a.m. USD FOMC member Waller Speaks. That's literally nothing. And then the only red folder that we had was Treasury Currency Report, which was at 4 p.m. That didn't affect the market till later on. Tomorrow morning, we had we have Fed Chair Powell Speaks. Um, and then we have unemployment claims on Thursday at 8.30. Uh, we also have Powell speaking at 2 p.m., so that may bring some fire into the waters. And then we have some prelim, prelim UOM consumer sentiment on Friday for November 10th. So this week is looking like, you know, a good week to move the market without a lot of manipulation. But the only thing is, is that when we get back to the chart, we've had consecutive one two three four five six seven eight eight days where no lows were taken on a daily time frame so i literally don't know what this means i i was expecting them to use this level here as a potential area where we may see a potential order block which is right here liquidity fair value order block if they take this low here, I'll be more inclined. Sorry, let me take off the, yep. If they take off that low there, I'll be more inclined to see how it plays out. Um, or I'll be more inclined to see how the shorts play out or to participate as a short or as a seller. I'll be more inclined to see these lows being taken out. But right now, I can't really transact. Um, I bought a 25k account, um, so hopefully we can make some content out of that, and I can bring you guys along. Me um, trying to get funded $25,000 um, with my forex funds. That is who I selected. But um, as of right now, though, I can't really do anything. Um, yeah, I can lean on the fact that we've been bullish for the last nine days. And maybe I can try to buy it, just continue to buy it, make excuses as to why it wants to go higher. But I used to trade that way, and I used to get burnt. And part of this entire journey is to eventually get to a point where you just get tired of making the same mistakes. And so you're just going to be patient, right? Because why today? Why does it have to be that you trade today? Why does it have to be that today you pass a challenge? Why does it have to be today that you have to withdraw today? Why does it have to be that today is the day that you want to make the most money or you want to be greedy? Today isn't the reality is that today doesn't have to be the day. And so what I'm saying is just take your time. Be patient. Allow these markets to print um things out and then we can entertain you know then we can have some fun but as of right now i am not going to make any sort of decision it's just not in my best interest right now um so what do i expect for tomorrow seems like we're trending i would like to see them try to take this low here and then change in the state and all that good stuff but as of right now I'm just going to keep letting them take out previous day's highs high because that's what they've been doing. So if they're trending, they'll continue to do that. Um, in a perfect world, I would like to see them take out this up candles high here. The potential order block, take it lower, retrace, then, you know, take it down to at least this low right here. And if not, you know go lower into all these lows that weren't taken before but being realistic 
something like this wouldn't bother me. You know, we're still talking about 385 points, um, a potential to hold a trade on Thursday or Wednesday, all the way lower to here. Who knows? Who knows? I would like them to take out this high first and then come to Monday's low and then take out Monday's low going into Thursday. Then Friday can do whatever it wants. But I want to see this here. This right here. And then we can do whatever we want after that. But um, as of right now, I'm not going to make any decisions until price action is clear. So that way I can, uh, you know, do something when the time is right. Um, if we look at this from an hourly lens or an hourly perspective, um, we were using this range in the Monday call, which was yesterday. And then they obviously broke out of premium inside of this range. They just broke out of there and they expanded again leaving more sell side liquidity. My idea is that they are prepping to either build and engineer liquidities and discount for a later time, or they're just running to premium levels and just taking out everybody that's trying to um, short, short it, Maybe we're shooting it early, like, you know, there's just a lot of things that you can interpret this as, but I'm not going to try to interpret it as anything. I'm just going to allow my trading confirmations to play out. I'm going to allow for a realistic approach to influence my thoughts as I try to trade in this environment. I'm not looking to impose my will. I'm not looking to make money. What I'm looking for is to stick to a defined, consistent process over time. And that, in the long run, will allow me to be as consistent as possible and as realistic as possible. And so part of my, I would say part of my current phase and my journey is keeping everything very realistic and not being overly optimistic. So yeah, that's where my head is at. Um, if I go to the five minute and we start getting into overnight session and looking at it from those lens, like even overnight session right now, like sell side, it was still left over here. Um, we have here buy side, sell side, but specifically for Tuesday, there was like sell side liquidity left here of the overnight session and then prices ran higher. I'm not going to try to fight this. Um, this is a parabolic move um, that I wasn't a part of, and that's okay. And it's also Tuesday, so I'm not really stressed out. Um, what I do want to see, though, is, again, this high being taken here and then going lower into Friday uh, below this low here and here. But, yeah, that's all I have for today. There's not really... Um, something that we can talk about as far as my process is concerned, but just for um, opportunity wise and what it was possible today to catch, um, if you guys were looking there from this perspective, you guys could see that price at nine o'clock, we broke above overnight session. After that, we took a low. Then we closed above this down candle, above the 50% there. Then this candle, this candle here confirms the change in the state of delivery. This 
retracement back down into here. Boom. That is a specific setting or trading price that you guys should be aware of. Then price goes above, expands above this order block, comes back down to the opening price right there at 1010. And then price continues to expand higher into the daily liquidity level that was right here. So if we look at it from those lines and try to maybe formulate something out of that, yeah. So the only thing is, is that when this retracement came down to this order block, the liquidity was already taken. Um, so this right here is a run higher into that liquidity portion. Um, I would have preferred if I was in the trade not to see this high be taken, but I'd preferred it to be down here and uh, that high still being intact up here and then boom, then I can be more confident in something like this. But as of right now, like I said, these markets right now are just moving very, very one-sided and weird to me and that's okay. I'm not supposed to understand to 100%. So I'm going to sit and wait, and I'm going to be patient, and I'm going to do what I can do best, just sit on my hands. So we're going to keep this one short, guys. Um, keep in mind, as we get into the end of the week, I am currently moving out, as you guys know already. And I can pray and hope that I'll be available to make a video um, every day this week. But if not, at least you guys will know and have the reason as to why I'm not doing it. As I said, there is life and realistic things outside of trading that must always be handled first before um, you try to, you know, trade. It's not all about trading. Sometimes we get so caught up in this, you know, world because of our obsession and passion and our desires to want to be able to provide for families as men. And same thing for women. Uh, some women I know that trade are, they just really do want to provide for their family and give and create better experiences and memories with their families. But sometimes when you have to handle things outside of trading it's best to handle those things first that way when you come back onto the charts you have a clear mindset and approach and that way you're able to flow and allow your thoughts to process clearly um it's one thing i've learned from kish uh, being under kish and being under his tutelage one of the things that he would always do and still does when he has to is he has that power and control to step away when it's time to, you know, we look at ICT sometimes, he does the same thing, um, he steps away when he has to, so learn how to step away and don't always try to force it, just allow this to breathe and then you can come back onto the charts, but guys, just remember that God is good all the time. Just remember that God is good all the time. Say it with me one more time. Just remember that God is good all the time. And how does that quote go? Good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.